Michelle Obama, urgent message about this year's midterm elections. This is a CNN story. Former First Lady Michelle Obama has a message for Americans ahead of 2022 midterm elections. We've got to vote like the future of our democracy depends on it. We've heard this a million times. In a letter titled Fight for Our Vote, which was published Sunday as an ad in the New York Times, Obama called on, Amer- on Americans to continue emerging, engaging in democracy, amid a historic attack on voting rights. Obama's letter referenced the insurrection and the, uh, is the what is that? I wrote over it. And the, is it a slew view? of young voting oh, a slew restrictions? Slew of voting restrictions passed on the state of law across the country in its wake. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has vowed the chamber will vote on whether to change the Senate's legislative filibuster rules uh, by Martin Luther King Jr. January 17th if Republicans block Democrats' latest effort to advance voting rights legislation. Do you think Michelle Obama is just kind of getting in there because behind closed doors there's any aspirations of 2024? They've been trying. They've been banging her for years. She's she's the highest curated member in the entire Democratic Party by far. So they've been... Possibly mm-hmm. in the country. Possibly in the country, sure. Uh, so... They they've been they've been trying. Mm-hmm. She's not for some reason. Probably because life's pretty good for them right now. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if if they have the same. Listen, when Obama ran the first time, cakewalk. As soon as he got past Against Hillary, McCain, as saying. soon as he got past Hillary, oh, as soon as he got past Hillary, it was a cakewalk. Anybody who ran against, you know. Bush was going to be, you know, yes. was going was going to win. Anybody who ran against Bush's this last years, years was exactly. Win. You probably mean McCain. No, 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 no. He Bush, means he, he, Bush's he, legacy. He beat, he oh, beat wait. McCain, but he ran against Bush, right? So in the middle of the Great Recession, I mean, sure, he had it, 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 cake stacked decks against him, right? Yeah, and then Romney, for reasons unbeknownst to anyone, took the gloves off and stopped campaigning with two weeks to go and a, and a five point lead when Obama was was doing horrible things and, and in basically the second just debate, ran he basically after running against right Bush. After, Sandy. after running against Bush, I, I was there when, yeah. when Christie gave him yeah. a hug. Your boy Christie. Yeah, yeah. So listen. There's a reason Michelle hasn't ran yet. I think that she likes being the kingmaker. I think she likes having her Netflix gigs. I think she likes being a socialite. There's there's a lot that goes into running where I don't think they want to have things exposed. Mm-hmm. They don't want to have to answer hard questions. And a lot of their, this is the other side of it, a lot of their playbook has been run into the ground. There's only so much more division. There's only so much more divide and conquer you can do. So, you know, the rules for radicals thing's kind of played out now. It's 20, we're, we're going on 20 years, right, of, of rules for radicals here. It's, it, they, there's At some point, they've, they've kind of divided everybody that was going to divide. They found everybody that was going to vote along the lines of immutable characteristics, and it is what it is, right? As a matter of fact, there's a lot of statistics showing that the, the identity politics and the Latinx stuff is actually turning off the Latin voter. It's turning them off. That is correct. So, you know, they, that... Everything has its time, right? So is Michelle Obama going to run? I don't think so. It's a long answer to say I don't think so, but I do think that she wants to have the power to decide who runs, which is what I think what she really wants. I think that she wants someone like Stacey Abrams. And when they keep and we got to stop letting these people frame this issue the way that they – it's a voter rights issue. No, it, it's a freaking show – prove who you are. I, it draws me out of my mind, the hypocrisy – and, and Adam, it's Democrats. Democrat hypocrisy drives me out of my mind because they don't care about hypocrisy. The fact that I have to show a vaccine card to get a sandwich in New York City is somehow fine. But asking someone to show ID to prove who they are to vote on who runs the country is somehow racist? It's insanity. It's pure insanity. This has nothing to do with voter rights. This is their ability to harvest votes. This is their ability to have the, the dead vote. This is their ability to know exactly how, like what happened in New Jersey. You know, you go to bed and and Chickarelli is winning by three percent in Bergen, and you wake up. Oh, we found three million mail-in votes in Bergen County. Oh, well, you know, sorry. Guess Murphy's going to be the governor for the next four years. Which it's is legal. surprising to the two million people that actually live in. Bergen yeah, County. you know, it's just <laughs> insan. It's pure insanity, man. So listen, I mean, and then they they just change history all the time. This goes back to the you know with the with the you know they take down the videos. It's Fahrenheit four fifty one. They're burning the books. They're lying. There's hypocrisy, but they don't care because at the end of the day, it's all about moving their narrative forward. They don't care about lying. They don't because again, they're not beholden to me and you. They're beholden to international community. They care what Putin thinks, Xi thinks, Justin Trudeau thinks. They don't care what me and you think because, honestly, it doesn't matter to them. Well, the one thing I agree with Michelle Obama, or Michael, is that there is a historic attack on voting rights going on. 
Yeah, the Tom, citi- the Tom, citi- the, I don't know if you, the citizens' vote is being minimized. Mm-hmm. The the way you did that was very slick. slick but well, people, let me say something to you, G. Yeah, I, well, I well, actually well, agree with a lot of what you had to say, especially with like the Latinx stuff and, and and all that. I will say that I've never been one that has even thought that Michelle Obama was going to run. Even when we talked about it uh, in the last primary season, which was uh, 2019, 2020, and it was still Bernie was still in it and, you know, Klobuchar was still in it yeah. and Pete, Pete Buttigieg and, and, you know, Bloomberg showed up and people started throwing around buzzwords, Michelle sure. Obama, Michelle Obama. I was always like, why would she do it? Why would she do it? Like, it doesn't make sense. I don't see it. You said the Q score. She is the number one in the country. The Hollywood elites Hear me out. love her. The love country her. loves her. Women love her. The country will love her. Okay. You ha, ha, said the highest Q score. Yeah, yeah. But you can pull that up. Pull up. In I mean, the Democratic Party, she's, she's equally as adverse. the highest Q score in the country. It's not, I'm not even giving you my opinion. Just pull it up. Sure. But the point is this. I think that the, the Democrats are going to get squashed in the midterms. And I think someone's going to say in her ear, Biden ain't going to run anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, I think Trump is going to run. And what a, what a choice between Michelle Obama and Donald Trump. Yeah. And I feel like for the first time, this is where I'm actually giving credence to her possibly running. I we'll don't see. think so. I really well, don't. Okay. I think, we'll, I think Trump would be the worst case scenario because she couldn't bully him. They, they, she, she's a bully. Well, he po- couldn't bully her? She's a bully politician. She wants to run as a victim. But it's impossible to see them as victims anymore. I don't think she wants to run as a oh, victim. How could she play the victim when she's the first victim one? politics. Non-stop victim politics. Pull up the Q score. But the point is this. Regardless, I, for the first time, actually think that she would consider running. By, by the way, forget about whether you, you like her, you don't like her, et cetera, et cetera. I think she's the best candidate they got. I think she's the best candidate. Give me a better person than Michelle Obama to run. No, I can't. No. That's my point. Forget about you what the Democratic Party Yeah, give me one better. Joe Manchin. Joe, for them? Not for them. Well, for you. That's on them. Democrats no, no, wouldn't no, get behind no. Joe Manchin. They're Absolutely they would. They would not get behind Joe Manchin. Do you know how many Manchin. Democrats hate Joe Manchin? You saw the Charlemagne the God interview with Kamala Harris? They would not I, get I, I don't think that I, I don't think that that is the... I think that's the loudest voice in the room of the Democrats. I don't think that's the prevailing Democrat. Look yeah, at okay. so, Joe so, Manchin, bro. So anybody else? Anybody else? Okay, so Joe Manchin is a candidate. Fine. The Who Rock. Else? The Rock is better than Michelle. <laughs> I'm saying yes. But, but you're saying The Rock is more uh, capable yes. of winning than Michelle. No, no, no. Michelle's the best candidate they've okay. got for sure. Yeah, I agree. That's I'm the just best saying candidate. The Rock's pretty dope. Anybody else? Give me another one. Give me no another one. No current politicians. Zero current politicians. <laughs> Give me another one. In the Democratic Party. No, if if someone like Tom guy, Hanks was showing I, up. I, I, this, this, current in, this current incarnation of Democrat Party is so unlikable. No, I, the, I just, the question is who else? That's Pat's question. And the question is if... If Biden is primaried, it's going to come from the far left. But none of those have national electability after the smoke clears. You have Michelle Obama with national electability. You've got Joe Manchin, who's kind of on the other side of the lightning rod, where the the far lefts are going to completely throw up all over that. Mm-hmm. So the really the question is who else? If if he's going to be primaried and it's going to be a credible national candidate right now. Michelle Obama is the only only name. On so this. let me go to the. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.